What's up everyone, welcome back. Patrick here, moving on to another question dealing with quadratic equations. So in this example, you open a store and predict your profit t years after opening to be this over here. So p is equal to 1200 times t minus two squared minus 10,800. And with that information, we're asked, when will you break even? And then part b, how long will it take you to make a profit of $48,000. So let me actually erase these just to give myself some room here. Now notice this quadratic we're given. It's in vertex form over here. And so if you actually just draw this uh, roughly with uh, the equation given, it's in vertex form. So notice that we could tell that the vertex is gonna be where? At two, and negative 10,800. So two is like over here, and then negative 10,800, that's like here. So that's where the vertex is gonna be. And then notice that the A value is positive, so we know this is gonna be a quadratic that's opening up like this. Now, in this case, because we're dealing with a word problem, notice that the T, it can't be negative, right? Because T represents the number of years after the opening, so we can't have a negative value for t. And so the way this quadratic would look for the word problem is basically like this. So this is basically when the store opens, right, at t is equal to zero. If you wanted to actually get that value, you could plug in zero for t here, and you'd end up with negative two to the power two, which is four times 1,200, which would give you 4,800, and then 4,800 minus 10,800 would give us negative 6,000, right? So this negative 6,000, that's like the initial investment in the store, and then what happens is you're running the store, running the store, it's losing money for the first few years, so the profit keeps going down, down, and then all of a sudden at this point, the profit starts rising, it's still negative up to a certain point, and then you're gonna break even right here where the profit is gonna be zero, okay? When you break even, it means your revenue equals your cost or your profit is zero. So that's what we're gonna solve for. So this is the part where it's gonna break even. When that profit is zero, so we're gonna solve for that T value, and then in part B, they're asking, when will you make a profit of 48,000? Let's say that that's like up here. This is not to scale, by the way, I'm just drawing this diagram just so you visually see what's going on. So they're gonna ask, when are you gonna make a profit of 48,000? So that's gonna happen at some other T value over here. So we're gonna solve for two T values, basically in this question, right? So that's basically what's happening visually. So to find out again, when are you breaking even? We have to find out when is the profit going to be zero? Right? And it makes sense because this section, we're solving quadratic um, equations, right? And so this here is a quadratic equation. Now notice here we're given a quadratic in vertex form already. So there's actually two ways to solve it. You could solve it algebraically here with the vertex form. So we'll bring this over, then divide both sides by 1,200, et cetera, et cetera, and solve for that T value. So that's one way that I'll show you to do it. And then the way that we're used to is to expand everything and then see if it factors. So that's another way. But because it's already in vertex form, we could do other algebra in order to solve this. So I'll actually do it both ways. So the first way, the vertex form way, is let's bring the negative 10,800 over. So we'll have positive 10,800 equals 1,200 t minus two squared, divide both sides by 1,200. This cancels out. This would end up being nine. Then we got t minus two squared then we square root both sides, okay? And now the square root of nine, that's plus or minus three. So there's going to be two cases. So either positive three can equal T minus two, which would give us a T value of five, 
or negative three can equal t minus two, which would give us a t value if we bring this over of negative one. But we would ignore this over here because remember t can't be negative. Where that's coming from is if we forget about the word problem and we just look at this as an abstract quadratic, that other t value is coming here. If we extend this whole quadratic, right, that negative one is happening right here. But again, in the word problem, t can't be negative, so we would just ignore that solution. Okay, so the five happens right there. And notice that this makes sense because we know the vertex is happening at a t value of two. That's the axis of symmetry. And notice two is in between negative one and five. So it does make sense if you want to write those out and make sure that your diagram or your graph is making sense. But again, we would just ignore that t value of negative one right there. And it's a t value of five. So after five years, that's the answer to part A. That's when you're going to break even right here. Okay. Now, that's one way to solve it. Now, if we solved it in terms of expanding everything and then um, and then factoring, so this here, t minus two times t minus two would be t squared minus four t plus four minus 10,800. Um, distribute, so we'd have 1,200 t squared minus 4,800 t, this times this, 1,200 times 4 gives us 4,800, minus 10,800 would give us minus 6,000, like that. So we basically took this quadratic here and converted it to standard form. It was given in vertex form, now we have it in standard form, and then we can factor this. We could actually take out a 1,200 initially. Uh, this would be, this divided by 1,200 is 5. Okay, and then this here, this quadratic, it factors into t minus 5, t plus 1. Like that. And that's where we get those two solutions of t of 5, t of negative 1. So that's another way that your textbook or your teacher might go about this problem. So I just wanted to show you two different ways so you're comfortable whichever way that you are shown. Okay, so multiple ways to solve um, equations when you're given a quadratic in, in vertex form. This way is a little bit longer, but I do feel like it's a bit more proper, quote unquote meaning it kind of follows more how we've been solving quadratic equations, meaning that we get the standard form. Usually we're given the standard form and we factor. Here we have to do a little preliminary step to go from the vertex form to the standard form. Okay, so that's how you do that. So that's whichever way you do it, five years is the solution. Now in part B they're asking, when is the profit going to be 48,000? Okay, so you could take the profit of 48,000, you could plug it in here for the vertex form. I'm actually going to plug it in here for this standard form. So we already took that vertex form, expanded it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve this. Equation. Okay, but you could take that 48,000 and put it over here and then solve it with the vertex form. You would just bring this over, add it to the 48,000, divide both sides by 1,200, square root both sides, you'll get two t values, right? That other t value, we're gonna get another negative t value because if we extend this quadratic, you're also gonna hit 48,000 here, but we're gonna ignore that negative t value that we're gonna get over here. Okay, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the 48,000, make it equal to the standard form. Bring everything over and then factor it. Um, so doing that, bringing this over, we'll have 1200 t squared minus 48,000 
t and then bring this over negative 6,000 minus 48,000 would give us negative 54,000 like that and then from here what we can do is um, we could factor out uh, 1,200 so we have t squared minus 4t and then this over here is going to be what? 54,000 divided by 1,200 would give us 45, I believe, like that. 54,000 divided by 1,200 would give us 45. Right, and so we end up with this quadratic now, and then this quadratic, it actually factors into t minus nine, t plus five, like that. And then we could tell, when does t minus nine equal zero? When does t plus five equal zero? This is gonna happen at a t value of nine. This is gonna happen at a t value of negative five. Right, so we got negative five over here, and then we got positive nine over here. But again, we're ignoring this negative value. I just want to show you how it makes sense on the diagram. There's two T values where you're going to get that profit of 48,000 with the abstract quadratic. But according to the word problem, nine years is the solution for part B. So after nine years, that is when you are going to make a profit of 48,000. And you can also check your solution. So you could take this nine years, plug it in here, nine minus two, seven to the power two is 49, times 1,200 would give you 58,800, minus the 10,800 would give you that 48,000. Same thing with the five over here. Five minus two, three to the power two, nine, nine times 1,200 is 10,800 minus 10,800 would give you that profit of zero, right? So with this kind of question, if you're given a vertex form equation to work with, multiple ways you can work with it.